Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing another Too Faced holiday set. And this one is going to be the Too Faced Pop the Cork set, which comes with a palette and a Too Faced lip injection maximum plump lip plumper. So this is what the box looks like. You can pick it up at Sephora. So if you are interested, be sure to keep on watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell and let's go ahead and get started. So this set retails for $42. You, like I said, you can pick it up at Sephora. It's not available at Ulta, but you can pick it up on the Too Faced website as well. This palette, okay, first off the packaging, so cute. I like that they're going away with the, the whole like Christmas theme and like doing like a New Year's kind of theme with this. Great idea. Inside the palette has eight eyeshadows and one highlighter and the shades are RSVP, Tinseltown, Ready to Mingle, Guest List, Photo Op, Velvet Rope, NYE, Awards Show, and Champagne Toast. It also does come with a lip plumper. It does have this like pretty pink iridescence in the container but really on a swatch it looks clear and there really isn't a name for it so I, I'm going to assume that this is the original. So we're gonna do a look with this but I do want to kind of go through some things first. So this packaging is very similar to the Popcorn Balls palette and the Maple Syrup Pancakes palette. So if you haven't seen those two reviews, I'm going to link those down below for you. It has that same kind of cardboard packaging which Y'all know I don't like. And it, if you can see, it has that same ledge. So when I go to close it, see how there's a jam? I have to like pull it forward and then close. And that bothers me for some reason. So um, we're gonna get right into it here. I did notice right off the bat that this highlighter is very lack. There's really nothing to it. Like, I don't know. This is what it looks like on my finger. I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of it, but we're gonna do the eyeshadow and enjoy it. Also, I'm not a big maximum plump, extra strength, instant and long-term lip plumper kind of gal, so I don't know if I'll be using this today <laughs> because I can do a little bit of plumping, like the Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat, like I can definitely do that, right? This scares me, so. I thought it was just the original lip injection when I bought this and I, I like that one. Instant and long term, that term scares me. So we might just look at it in the bottle and be like, ooh, ah, and then move on. Let's get into it here. I think first we're gonna go into Velvet Rope. Also in this palette, I didn't mention earlier, there are three metallics and five mattes. Yes, the Popcorn Balls palette did not have that. This, yes, good job Too Faced, thank you. We're gonna go in with a Morphe M441 and go into the shade Velvet Rope, a really nice matte transition shade here. Now, this does not have a mirror. That always bums me out, but lucky enough, I have another mirror that we can use. It's always a bonus when the palette comes with a mirror, especially for like travel purposes and whatnot, but that blended really well. Also, Piglet is back here sleeping. And if you hear her snoring, you know, that's just part of life. I think that she is so sweet and her snoring is like so cute. <laughs> Blending really nicely. Really nice transition shade too. I am not mad at that. So next I'm just going to go into like kind of like a fluffy, a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Ready to Mingle, which is more of like a brown, just like a regular old brown shade, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of pat this on the outer part of my eye. I think first impressions on this palette, like love the pink packaging, love the whole kind of New Year's theme to it, but wouldn't it have been nice if there was a little, like a tad bit more color to it? As you can kind of see, the shades are blending out really well so far. Not really giving me any issues, no patchiness, there's no skipping. You know, it's not giving me like any struggles to blend. I think always Too Faced does a really good job on their mattes. They're really soft and just like they're easy to work with, which we love that. <laughs> Before I go any further on my lids, I do wanna just go back into Velvet Rope with a Morphe M561. Just pop this on my lower lash line. There we go. It is a pretty light lower lash line shade, but like, it's not the worst. 
I always just feel like I need something when I do looks like this because I feel like I need to like balance myself out a bit. <laughs> This is really pretty so far. Like the blend is just effortless. So Too Faced, way to go. And I've said this before, but like Too Faced often does this where they do a different kind of eyeshadow formula for their holiday palettes. And it's so annoying because it really should just be the same across the board. Like ColourPop does that, Tarte does that. It needs to be the same across the board. And I think maybe they're starting to hear us and they're like, oh, they want good quality stuff. So I was gonna use a brush, but uh, you know, when I put on metallics just for my everyday use, I like using my fingers. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take the shade NYE, which is a nice kind of bronzy shade, very beautiful. Why didn't they put a silver in here? New Year's Eve, like that would've been really cool. Or even like a champagne shade. Ooh, that would've been cool too. I'm just popping that on. So where is it? <laughs> There's like not a whole lot going on. I like really dig into it. Okay, I dug into it a little more and better. Uh, not great. The swatch didn't look half bad though. Just kind of patting this on. It's okay. Mm. I thought shimmers were the easier ones to make. Like this, I don't know, I want more. That's like always kind of frustrating with that though, because that's how it was in the Popcorn Balls palette. That's how it, you guys, I swatched this. Now my hand is itchy. <gasps> that's screwed up. Okay, I'm like getting a makeup wipe. I know I'm not allergic to my wipes because I've used these for 10 plus years. Holy crap, that was from the Too Faced lip injection. Thank goodness I'm not putting this on my face because who knows what would have happened. Before I go any further, I'm gonna go into RSVP, which is a cream shade. And just kind of pop that on my brow bone. You guys, be careful with lip plumpers, especially ones that say long-term. Like, be careful. This is like starting to worry me now. I wanna go in like a little darker on my outer corner with the shade Guestless, which is the deepest shade in the palette. And I'm gonna be using a Morphe M506 brush. Very gently pat it on the very outer part of my eye and blend. There we go. That's really pretty. This is working really nicely. I am going to grab a, a different kind of blender brush though because I feel like a really small one doesn't always do the job. I do have a little bit of fallout which completely normal. So we're going to take care of that. For lips, I'm just going to keep it neutral today. I'm, I already have some lip balm on because my lips were just chapped. Um, but I'm going in with the ColourPop Glowing Lip. This is from the Muppets Collection. This is in the shade Warm Up Guy. I like using these in place of lipstick sometimes because they're not as like heavy, but they still deliver some good color. So if you haven't checked them out, they're really nice. I glide on kind of like a lip balm. And then over the top of that, I'm going to go in with the Buxom... Uh, full-on plumping lip polish in the shade Daisy Donut. Now this is part of the holiday fall um, launch from Buxom. So you can pick it up while you can. Just want a little bit of bronze on my lips to kind of match the eyes. It also smells like vanilla. So next we're gonna tie together the look with liner and lashes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with all of it on but what i'm using today is the urban decay 24 7 glide on pencil in the shade zero which is just black and then i'm layering two mascaras today the essence lash princess volume mascara and the zoeva infinite potential mascara full volume i'm gonna put those on and i'll be right back with my final thoughts all right you guys this is the finished look this is really pretty so is this actually worth the price i'm gonna say no it's not. And I'm saying this because I think the shimmers were lackluster. The highlighter is lackluster. And this is like making my hand itch. Now I think the mattes are very good and I would definitely reach for this again but I don't know if I could say that this is worth $42 or that the set is. Um, I think the color scheme could have done a little bit different. I'd love to see like something that matches this beautiful like kind of champagne sparkle that we have here. Maybe something a little more New Year's Eve-y, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, 
but overall I like the look that I came up with and I will use this again so yeah that is it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below because I'm very I like the popcorn balls palette a lot I don't know I don't like this one as much as I like the other one which I'm surprised about so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you have not already be sure to subscribe and ring the bell and I will go ahead and see you in my next video bye